Okay guys, so it is Wednesday night here in Kuala Lumpur and this is the place that you want to be on a Wednesday night in Kuala Lumpur. Welcome to Taman Connacht Night Market. It's a Wednesday only night market and it is absolutely massive. As you can probably tell, there's so many people here and uh, yeah, it is really happening. There's plenty to see, plenty to do, plenty to eat and a lot to shop for as well. So let's go and enjoy Taman Connacht Night Market here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. What's your first thoughts? This is absolute madness. If you can't tell already, there's like at least 8 million people on this. At least. At least 8 million people. 8 million and 35 people on this one tiny, tiny market street. So it, it seems to be one very long street. There is no left, no right. And uh, everybody's sort of just squeezing through the market. And you have loads and loads of different foods, different items that you can buy. There's so much going on. You get hit in the face by different smells. Chicken, beef, durian, smoothies, everything. Uh, basically on this one street. Uh, I'm super excited because I really am really hungry. We didn't eat much today. And uh, we would like to try some skewers, maybe some satay and so on. Uh, so we're just gonna have a look around and see what what is the majority of things I'm looking at and I have no idea what it is if I'm being very honest right now <laughs> total chaos right here at the moment and that is because it is just on Wednesdays so if you just look to the right it says baked cold noodles how are cold noodles baked <laughs> what is that what do you mean <laughs> yeah this is really really crazy it's like so crowded to the point that you can barely walk um, very congested but the smells are keeping us moving to be honest because we've walked past so many different stands already that looked so incredible hello can't wait to try an assortment of whatever is on offer here People seem to be very open to the camera. Yep. Everybody's waving and sort of showing the peace sign, smiling and so on. Uh, it's very nice to see how welcoming the people are. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, can I have one smoked duck? One garlic chicken? Uh, glass noodle rice sausage? Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one. Uh, Thai style pork. Yeah, Taiwan sausage. Spicy or not spicy? Hmm? Spicy or not spicy? Yes, spicy, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, that's <laughs> I don't <fine>. know. <laughs> that's fine. A little bit of everything. All right, we got an assortment of things. We paid 1250 ringgits, so a little over two euros, three euros, something like that. And uh, I'm gonna start out with the Thai style pork because I know that I love it and uh, I'm so hungry, oh my god. Mmm, oh, <laughs> yes, this tastes just like in Thailand. Wow, this is amazing, I wanna eat all of it. Luke is not gonna get anything, I always say that, but uh, in the end he always gets something. Now this is a uh, smoked duck and it smells amazing it smells like smoked sausage kind of oh sorry somebody mm. wants to walk past <laughs> let's try the smoked duck good i'm gonna cry this is so good this is like i don't know it's salty it's savory it's smoky it's oily it has a little pizzazz to it it's so good oh my god should i just keep going or yeah. what do you want to okay just try one of each taiwan sausage i think it was taiwan sausage she said this one is a little bit spicy apparently she asked if we want it spicy or not i said we want it spicy so yep. if you see me running now in a minute you know why <laughs> i'm joking um no it's not spicy oh huh? good I think maybe she gave us the foreigner version of it. Uh, it's not spicy at all. Very, very mild, subtle taste. Um, tasty though. Oh, look at this one. Now this one, 
This one is the one that I'm most interested in because uh, it said something about rice and glass noodle sausage. So there's an, enti an entire meal in this one sausage casing. Hmm. Can you see that? Yep. There's actual glass noodles in the middle. That's crazy. Oh, very really surprised about this. It's good. It yeah. tastes like an entire meal in the sausage. Legitimately. Wow. Hell yeah. Is that everything that you got? I don't know. I think so. I pointed at the garlic chicken, but I didn't get garlic chicken. Oh. Next time. Let's go and explore the rest of this market. Just 11? Oh, okay. You're from Kuala Lumpur? Yes. Or uh, other area? Uh, around Kajangde. Ah, you know nice. Kajang nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No idea what he said. <laughs> We're basically gonna get some uh, iced lemon tea here, just to, oh, just to yeah. refresh ourselves. It has been a long and hot day and... We now. need to get the black blood sugar level up because we're kind of feeling a little slumpy. Yeah, yeah, true. We walked around in the direct sun and in the heat all day, so we just kind of sort of need something to sort ourselves out. We just saw a Russian girl collapsing over there, so we were like, okay, I guess we have to get something sugary oh, yeah. before it happens to us. And uh, the price... Only five, five and a half ringgit, which is like little one, over one euro. A little over a euro. That's really not bad at all. Not bad at all. This market is something else so far. So you've got basically fruit sellers, you've got uh, hot food sellers, cold food sellers. You have people from all over the world basically that are walking through this market, and you have plenty of clothing on sale as well, which is amazing. I don't know, it's just it's just a really nice place to be. Super nice and uh, very interesting stalls as well. Like I'm just I was just pointing at a Harry Potter butter beer stand. What? I don't know. I don't know. Like uh, maybe we should try some butter beer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's like normal beer and they just jack in a lot of butter or something. I don't know. <laughs> but that would be interesting. Yeah, the vibes are good here. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. I love when they give you little baggies for your drinks. It's like my drink handbag or something. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, one waffle. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Looks like a hot job. Hot, yeah. Very hot. <laughs> very hot. Ah, hot. Very nice, huh? <laughs> He's a professional. The waffle, is, the waffle is sleeping. The waffle is sleeping. I'm really wondering if this is gonna be a sweet or a savory waffle. Yeah, so basically you it's waffle. charcoal, a charcoal grilled mm. egg waffle. But is it gonna be like a, the taste of a Belgian waffle or is it gonna be like a egg? omelette or yeah, something. Not sure. <laughs> he has the skills. The skills required. Terima <laughs> kasih. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I got a bag full of waffle right here and um, <laughs> basically not too sure if it's going to be sweet or savory. It is really delicious looking. It's incredibly hot, like hot to the touch. He put it in a paper bag and then a plastic bag. I can still feel the heat coming through both of the bags. Really friendly uncle. We actually walked past him while we were drinking the iced lemon teas that we had and we looked at him and how he was doing his business and how the way he was cooking it. He seems to just be a really nice person. Seems to be doing it a long time as well. So let's give this a try. Um, it is a lot bigger than this. It's just no longer intact. So let's give it a bite. Oh my God. Savory or sweet? It is literally just like a buttermilk, eggy type of a pancake batter flavor. Just imagine a pancake. 
like a Belgian waffle. Basically a Belgian waffle, yeah. I love it. It would, um, <laughs> it would go really well with some like, maybe some maple syrup, maybe some butter, something like that. I'm just thinking as a fat Westerner here. But um, yeah, this is really delicious and definitely well worth stopping. If you see that beautiful uncle standing there with his little flippy thing here at the Taman Connock Market, give the Ego waffles a try. Eggos! Mm. Genuinely, can't stop eating that waffle. <laughs> Naomi is just walking around and I eating. I took over the waffle. Yep. Mm. So incredibly good. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're walking into people. It's literally impossible to sort of separate yourself from the crowds here. Have a look at this stuff. A lot of the signs are in, uh, I believe, Chinese writing. Yeah. And I just don't know what I'm looking at, like 95% yeah, yeah. of the time. <laughs> this looks really good. It seems to be like some steamed food here. Beautiful. Anyways, we're going to continue. Continue on the exploration of Taman Konok. We have not seen much yet, to be honest. And I think we want to try a little bit more food. Um, so yeah, let's see what we can come up with, see what we can try. This is like a quick little section here, guys, of some clothes that you'll find on sale. So, a whole bunch of different things if you want like a knockoff, off-white or something like that. You've got two pieces for 50 ringgit, not bad. Two pieces for 10 euro. Yeah, that's not all bad right. at all. And uh, yeah, it just continues and continues and continues. I think this is the longest night market in Malaysia, I want to say, maybe. I could be wrong. Thank you. It's a green bean. What is it? It's a green bean. Green bean? Yes. Oh. Thai dessert. Thai dessert? Yeah. Nice. We just came, we came from Thailand. Oh, yeah. We were in uh, Bangkok before here in Chiang Mai. Oh, and came here. Last week I also at Bangkok. Yeah. Very hot. Then. Very hot. Very hot. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa. Really good. Mm. Really good. Interesting. Can we take one? Yeah. Mm. We take one. Yeah. Okay. Actually, it's a Thai royal dessert. Oh, yes. nice. Me, uh, name Luk Chuk. Luk Chuk? Luk Chuk. Uh huh. Yes. I'm very bad with pronouncing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. But normally I do the sauce, it's very, very special. Yeah? You may try. One ban Thank you. Is it nice? You may try. Nice. Oh yeah, she's a professional, I can see. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Only <laughs> professionals. <laughs> <laughs> Zala Chun Yolada, 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 Zala Yolada, 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 Mm. Tasty. Super tasty. Oh. There's a very like a um, buttery herbal meaty taste to it with a little bit of salad all shoved into a bun. Who thought we would find a banh mi in Kuala Lumpur? Interesting. Really good. We've never even been to Vietnam. Not yet anyways. Not yet. Okay, so we made our way a little bit outside of the craziness of that market is that market let me tell you guys something guys we've been there now for quite literally only around an hour maybe an hour and a half walking up and down both of us are done exhausted beaten down mentally and physically in every way imaginable but in a positive way actually the senses are overwhelmed you can't really walk all that well because you're kind of rubbing shoulders with every person 
and Naomi said a good line there Asia really does collide here um, and you can see that in this night market a lot of the signs are in Chinese a lot of the signs are in Thai a lot of the sellers are from Taiwan a lot of the sellers could be Mongolian or from wherever they all sort of are colliding here mixed in with of course those local Malaysians as well and now guys let's give this Ban Mi sandwich which there you go there's another Vietnam uh, little sandwich here and then um, I think that the seller of the banh mi was actually Chinese so there you go it's a real crossover of every type of Asian cuisine and Asian people here as well so here we go guys let's give it a try oh my god the bread has a real bite to it The bread sort of like soaked up all of the juices from the meat that's inside here. I think it's a pork that's in there. You've got some like fresh vegetables, crunchy, beautiful vegetables in there. And my favorite part I think is the actual bread itself. The meat is good quality, the vegetables are fresh, but this bread is bouncy, chewy and delightful. It's also, as I said, just absorbed all of those flavors from all of these ingredients in here and he went heavy on the salt and pepper as well which I appreciate if you do go to places like Subway or whatever always get your salt and pepper this is absolutely delicious 10 out of 10 so we were standing uh, just after we ended this video so it's probably continuing on now but uh, some lovely locals came over and handed us this which is basically seems to be a deep fried casing around a beautiful ice cream of some sort it seems to look like a, maybe a taro flavored ice cream so I think we're gonna shift it around and put the ending of the video just after this but this is absolutely delicious so terima kasih to you beautiful locals this is why we love Malaysia people keep shocking us every now and then some days we're like oh we're not sure and then the locals show up and they give us another reason to keep going this is absolutely delicious. Oh my god, it really is. Crispy on the outside, and cold, beautiful ice cream on the inside. <laughs> Amazing. The YouTube handle is uh, Two Mad Explorers. Yo, yo. I can type. This is really good. Yeah. Sedap. This is our channel. Enjoy. Thank you so much, this, this well, well. How cute are they? So cute. <laughs> I love the locals here, they're so good. Free ice cream. What more could you want? Wow. Okay. So, Taman Konok Night Market, only on Wednesdays. So, keep that in mind if you are planning on visiting this market, which you absolutely have to. If you are visiting Kuala Lumpur and you happen to be here for a few days and it happens to be over on a Wednesday, <laughs> come here. Come here, yeah. We 100%. had so much tasty food in such a short time. A really amazing market. The people here are lovely. They all have to tell their own little story, which was very beautiful and 100% uh, recommend. Yeah, for sure. The food is very tasty. I know we didn't necessarily try specifically Malaysian stuff here today. We just wanted to try an assortment of crazy stuff in a nice short period of time and give you a little bit of an insight into this hectic night market. Very, very fun and definitely worth checking out, guys. But for now, my name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We are the Two Mad Explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. See you guys in the next adventure. Terima kasih for watching. Terima kasih. Bye-bye.